City, what do you say? It's not going to be in Times Square. I think she has probably at the Javits Center for the Toy Fair. And this is the first time it's been back since the pandemic. Well, so this that's is right. Floor after floor. And here's the thing, guys. This is where all of the toy makers come because they want you and they're throwing away their stuff to buy the stuff for holidays. So look, a little bit of a baby stroller. They have candy art. They have everything. Um, traditionally, this happens after the holiday season. They do that because people want to get their stuff to Amazon, to Target, to all the big retailers. But because of the pandemic, the schedule is, you know, switched around a bit, which we enjoy because we get to tell you what is hot for holiday 2023, I guess. Maddie is back from the Toy Fair. Good morning. Yes, good morning, Jennifer. Okay, there's so many things that are like interactive and fun and just um, big things and little things. You're loving this season of toys. We're absolutely loving it. There are so many hot toys here on the Toy Fair show floor. Okay, so let's begin with this one. Yeah, so this is called Bitsy, and will you do me the honor of opening it up? Sure. Now, Bitsy is a super popular, one of the hottest toys of the year. Now, this is an interactive digital pet, so it will respond to your touch if you pet it, your tilts, and you can even play games with it. Now, Bitsy will need kids' love and care to evolve from a baby to an adult to a super Bitsy, and then there's more opportunities to collect, to collect other characters. Okay, so, so I'm going to put 15. Bitsy down here. That's crazy, and yes. I love that. Now, yes. um, this is what everyone is talking about. Absolutely. Okay. So this is Magic Mixies Pixlings, and if you remember Magic Mixies from a couple years ago, we had that amazing cauldron, and now we're going to bring back some more Magic in the doll really, category. Like, this time last year, you couldn't get anything that had this name on it. They've really expanded the brand and they have a lot of things so that mom, dad, grandma, and Santa will be able to get all the toys. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, yeah, so these are the pixlings. So we're going to do a magic. Ready? Okay. So one, two, three. Magic is mixes. mixes. And now you'll see over here that this doll is being revealed from the potion that oh. I just made. So kids are going to put all their different ingredients to make their doll, give her her personality, Wait, her looks. My kid can put stuff in there? Oh, yes. Yeah, so you make your an entire potion so I had it pre-made okay and that's part of it too because they are still stuck on slime and mix I bought my kid an ice cream maker just so like do something right. for good out of the <laughs> mess you're making out of my kitchen right um, we're here in front of the tie display because sure. stuffies and soft animals are always gonna be big but none bigger we hear this all the time than Squishmallows. They're still hot? Squishmallows are hotter than ever. Okay. They just won their second Toy of the Year award for the plush category in a row. And just feel how soft and squishy they are. They are a cultural phenomenon. Everyone is collecting these. There's more than 2,500 personalities to collect. So there is a character for everybody. You said this off camera. Little kids like them, they grow into teenagers, like they bring them on their little sleepovers. So it's one thing that you buy and they keep. Exactly. Okay. So I'm wearing Barbie pink. Yeah. <laughs> so Barbie, is, Mattel is not here this year, but you do believe as a toy expert that there will be so, there are some Barbie inspired or Barbie type Absolutely. things here. Absolutely. You're going to see Barbie all over the show floor and even at our Toady Awards. Okay. Um, Barbie won big. She won doll of the year. She won for license of the year. Okay. So she is here in a big way. And Barbie first debuted here, right? right. Yep. In 1959, Barbie made her big Toy Fair debut and the rest is history. And then, you know, you're in charge of like making sure we we know about these toys like we want to make our list we want to check it twice many of us have received the dumb Amazon <laughs> wish list catalog in our house already <laughs> when do you think moms dads and grandparents need to think about helping Santa we recommend to shop as early as possible okay. because you always want to make sure that you can secure the hottest toys of the year for the ones that you want to gift this year you're so good <laughs> thank you Mike I know that you always like to make sure what Teddy wants and yes. you ignore your other grandchildren right. which is fine Teddy's gonna want that, she, and that thing is gonna be the thing that you can't get. Really? At 12? Wow. True. Absolutely. Teddy is 12. Yeah. That's what she would want. See, now you have your little doll. There they go. Landry needs one too. Well, it seems like that's something you just might play with once. You never know. I mean, I know. listen to the experts. I might get her this thing, though. Have you seen these water?